guys welcome to another live and today's topic is five ways how to increase your confidence to rock your online business so guys i think that no matter if we are five days five weeks or five years in the business we all need to sell more products sell more services or have more people to sign up to our um, to our business opportunity and more people to actually success uh, to succeed in, in our business opportunity. Uh, so with lack of confidence, I think it is very hard to get the results we are looking mm -hmm. for. And I'm talking from uh, my personal experience that not being confident in your industry in your business it's very hard. When I started actually in 2008. I had absolutely no clue about online marketing and I joined actually startup with online marketing it was kind of an online marketing agency very small one at that time and they were actually explaining to me uh, how I am supposed to explain and sell uh, search engine optimizations campaigns at that time it worked really well Hello guys, all of you who watch me just um, write down where you're from, where you're you dialing in from, uh, so I see who's watching. And uh, they were like a few minutes in that training and I just had to raise my hand and say, what's keyword? What is keyword? I have no idea what you're talking about. And everyone looked at me in that room and it was a room full of future accounts. Hello Angel, nice to see you. And they look at me like, what are you doing here? Like, <laughs> seriously? And that was like a huge bomb to my confidence because at that time I was like totally changing everything in my life. And I was new to this thing. And uh, when I started to, at that time, comparing myself to others, I was absolutely frozen and I didn't know that if that was actually what I was supposed to do because I had it was totally something different from what I was doing before and uh, when I w went through some trainings uh, what the business is about and what the industry is about um, they just gave me a phone and sent me to call cold calling from actually from the street almost to business owners and uh, to head of boards and to marketing directors and to get, I had to get a uh, uh, first appointment with these people that was hard to get to these people and second actually sell them our campaigns and those weren't like the bigger the company the bigger campaign and the longer it took actually to sell so it was kind of hard and uh, I, I had like the beginner luck maybe at the beginning because like my first two contracts that I can remember that first month both were uh, worth 5,000k dollars so so I was kind of lucky and <laughs> uh, I wasn't so lucky afterwards <laughs> just these two these two first two that were kind of good but anyway the point was um, that at the beginning when I was actually trying to call these people that were in that industry for so many years and they were actually paid big money or, or they if, if you have some kind of brand that's very big not only in market but worldwide those people are talking to professionals from huge agencies and when someone new like me at that time came there and they had absolutely no clue. I couldn't answer any of their questions. I didn't know how to argue with them. Uh, I didn't know how to answer um, answer anything they had uh, for my uh, for my uh, plan for their campaign. It was so confusing for me and for them. They didn't know what I was doing there because they thought I was professional. But over those years, I had to learn all that. A lot. I had to learn a lot of skills, a lot of uh, actually things from that industry. And j just calling, just picking up the phone and calling someone, that's maybe the same for me. There's someone today, I could compare it. Like uh, when you are afraid to go on video, not like on video and someone Presses go live and puts you right in front of a huge audience, or they put you on stage in front of I don't know, like ten thousand people. 
and you have absolutely no experience, you don't know what to say, you don't know what to do. That was me in 2008 and online marketing. <laughs> so um, the confidence there was very important because if I didn't go to the room as professional, I wouldn't have sold anything at that time. So the same works maybe with you today in this position in online businesses. So for those of you who see me for the first time, uh, my name is Lenka Katsloa and I help entrepreneurs and business owners to build and leverage their online businesses through social media and online communication and I help them to become influencers in their niche so they can actually do what they love and live their real lifestyle. lifestyle. Hello Jamie, <laughs> thank you so much for the love. <laughs> And today, I want to discuss with you five ways to increase your confidence so you can rock your business, not only in 2017, but anytime. Angel, your makeup is pretty. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I actually got used to wearing that makeup uh, because as mom printers, uh, mom probably knows all the moms that stay at home that you don't feel like putting on your makeup when you know you'll be home all day or at, the only thing that you will do is maybe go to park with your kids so you don't feel like putting the makeup on. But with Facebook Lives and with me actually having to put content on social media, it made me <laughs> to put my makeup on daily and it's like going to work really. Uh, in the morning I put my makeup on and it stays there the whole day because I never know when I will have to answer some uh, of your comments, some of your questions or some of your videos you're sending me with the video because I try to use video as much as possible and I want to look good. So that's why I do that. Hello, Gabriel. Hi. <laughs> so five ways. First one. <clears throat> uh, first and most important one, I think, is um, your mindset and what you put inside your head. Because I can hear that all the time when I'm talking to you guys. You're telling me I don't have enough experience. Uh, I don't know, have enough knowledge. I have never done it before. I'm not good enough. I'm too shy. I'm too whatever. And that's exactly what you are. Because what you put in your head, that's what you become. If you feel you're not good enough, and if you feel you don't have enough experience, you really, you really don't. You need to start actually telling yourself the opposite. Well, your hubby will appreciate it too. My hubby, Jamie, is all day in work, so <laughs> maybe when he comes home, <laughs> he will, but <laughs> he, don't, he doesn't see me the whole day. <laughs> so you need to put really positive things into your head and start talking to yourself in an absolute different way. Because when you, and, and it's long term, it doesn't happen overnight, but it really helps your confidence if you talk to yourself as professional, as expert. And I always say that you are expert at whatever you do, the way you do it. And it doesn't always have to be the knowledge. It's always the story around that. You all have experienced something in your life. And every single day you have to find something and uh, not find something, but you have to make a way how to work it out. Like for me, it was very hard when I started this, it was very hard for me to do lives every single day. It was absolutely impossible to even think that I could do Facebook Live every single day. And uh, one day I just made a huge lives <laughs> over that and I said, yeah, I'm gonna do it no matter what. I'm, I'm gonna be in my pajamas or whatever. I will do it every single day. And after not, only a few days, I lost that fear because I was telling myself, just, I put it in inside my head, you will do it and you will make it and you will find a way to do it actually. And I did. I really, after a few days, I lost that feeling. I, I no longer felt it's impossible. Because I thought that I won't be able to prepare my content. I won't, I won't be able to find the time when the kids actually don't interrupt the, the life too much. And you could see in the first videos that when it's during the day, the kids are often with me, both or one of them. And uh, it was possible. I, I could always find a way how to do it every single day. And I think you can do it too. And it's only about what you put inside your head. 
So first is actually how to raise your confidence is things you tell to yourself. Second one. Second one is about your community and about your, uh, about your company. And I think that you should start actually putting yourself more out there. When you talk to people in your company, especially those who are successful and who are having really good results that you want. Because they, what, you, what they put out there, they are trying to help the community and they are trying to help others. So when you are with these people, again, your mindset changes and you, your mindset shifts to different level. And uh, with that goes also, um, you need to attend their, their events and uh, any kind of meetings where you can meet these pe people in person because that helps your confidence a big time. You, you don't have to like think it does, but you, when you are in that place, with those people that absolutely changes your mind and your behavior and your mood for, for months. So really try, if you have never been to any kind of event like that, try one. You have to go to one. <laughs> Third thing, and I have to look at my notes. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Third one, make, when you communicate to people, make a testimonial product one, if, if you are selling products in your company, product one or income one or both. And make it on video. Videos are very powerful. And when you are actually talking to someone and introducing something, you want to send them these testimonials. One thing is when you have products, you can just choose one, whatever you have, and the one you love, and you are totally confident about the product, and you love it, you really do. Then you can just pre-record it, so you are, uh, you are, you feel, you feel really calm and good about the video. You can record it if you are very bad <laughs> or feel you are very bad in the video. You can record it like 20 times. It doesn't really matter. Just be okay with the video and just say it several times and record your own experience, your personal video testimonial. And when you talk to people and you send them this kind of piece of information that supports what you say, that will help you in that conversation and that will help you to look uh, as a professional in those people's eyes because you have sent them something like that, something that looks very professional. That will help your confidence too, especially when you're a new one. Another thing is negativity. Try to get rid of it, close it in front, of, <laughs> close it like the all outside negativity, get rid of it. All the haters, all the jealous people that may write you or comment on your stuff on any social media, just get rid of that. Don't listen to them, don't don't watch it. Just block the people or, or delete the comments. I have never done that and I was actually killing my clients for deleting these comments. But that was um, with product, uh, with product uh, brands and I think that this kind of commercial um, marketing is quite different, but when it's your personal stuff, your personal profile or, or brand, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. So just, I, I prefer not actually reading this stuff and deleting it. So um, just turn off all the negativity and try to focus only on positive things. And that helps the confidence a lot <laughs> really a lot it helps me a lot that's why everyone says you should be reading a lot you should be listening to influencers you should be leading, uh, listening to leaders and learn from them and they will charge you for the whole day so try to in your daily routine especially in the morning try to put something like that in your schedule just at least for 15 minutes uh, when you brush your teeth or something watch your video with something positive something from your favorite influencers or, or leaders in your industry and put positive things into your mind. And uh, another way is, um, is uh, what was it? Oh, learn about your industry. That's a good one. That's, that's huge, especially for all the new people 
that are in this field. And I think that the confidence problems are especially for people that are new or that are having uh, not, no results, okay, no results and not like very big results, just very small ones. And they don't feel they're doing something good and they don't feel they're good enough. So maybe this video, especially for these people. So learn about the industry so you feel very confident about any questions. And as I was saying, my story at the beginning, that was exactly me. It was the confidence problem. I didn't know my industry. I didn't know how to answer basic questions. It wasn't about the product. And it, I, I think that most people are asking you or their problem is the industry problem, not the company problem. Um, they don't usually have problem like with, I don't know, compensation plan or product. They have problems with, let's say, network marketing or itself or, or some, some uh, affiliate marketing question, like the specific problems that any other company has as well. So you need to learn actually the stuff and the information and arguments and, and how to react to these questions exactly for this industry. When you have all the answers, nothing will surprise you and you can answer anything. And um, there are several strategies. A lot of people teach it online for free. Of course, there are huge academies that teach that, very good ones, very good academies that will teach you how to do that uh, professionally. But uh, as a beginner, I think that you can find many videos online on YouTube or, or on Facebook itself, how to answer these questions or just all it takes is good mentor and ask your mentor. <laughs> And with Facebook, it's so easy because when you when you talk to people on Messenger, all you have to do is when you get this kind of answer uh, question, go to your mentor, go to your coach, and ask them. I got this argument or I got this question. So how how uh, I got this question? How do I answer? And you have your coach for that to to tell you what to say, so you answer the right way. <laughs> and uh, you feel good because the next time you will know how to answer that and step by step you will learn how to do this okay guys so these are five ways to boost your confidence hopefully they were helpful and uh, i would love for you if you find value in this video if you share it if you share this or if you share it to any group you are part of if you tag your friends or your team members who will uh, get value from this and I'm looking for next time and all of you who watch this thank you and see you next time bye bye guys